Local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report, Indiana's Sportscaster of the Year. From South Bend to the Summit City, Notre Dame head football coach Marcus Freeman in town Thursday night for a good cause. Our man Josh A. is stopping by the Grand Wayne Center, and he's got more on the head coach of the Fighting Irish. Well, Fort Wayne certainly rolled out the red carpet, or maybe I should say the blue and gold carpet for Notre Dame's own Marcus Freeman, who was the keynote speaker for the Common Bond fundraiser benefiting Aaron's House for Grieving Children. Of course, after the event, we caught up with Coach Freeman himself to talk all things related to Notre Dame football, including his growth as a coach and the strong pipeline of Northeast Indiana players who have gone on to play for the blue and gold. The greatest inspiration I have is to continue to see young people succeed, and so um, that, that's what I've learned about myself more than anything is that, you know, what, at the end of the day, it's still about finding a way to help young, young people reach their goals. Some of the best players in Fort Wayne are going to be some of the best players in the country. And that's the reality of it. And as you go back to the um, Tyler Eiferts and Jalen Smith and Drew Tranquils and, and, and now with uh, Briante Johnson you know, coming to uh, Notre Dame, we have to continue to make sure the, the best players in Fort Wayne find their way down the toll pipe, the, the, the toll road down to South Bend, Indiana. And uh, that's something that we've set a, a important precedence to do, and we're going to continue to do that. We also asked Coach Freeman on his thoughts on the soon to be freshman Tay Tay Johnson, who is getting ready to graduate from Northside this spring. You can find Coach Freeman's thoughts on Tay Tay Johnson right now on the Wayne.com sports page. From the Grand Wayne Center, I'm Josh A. with Wayne 15 Sports.